G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Arv install session. Now, today, we're going to install our new bash plates for the next gen ranger. Because, um, as you can see, these ones haven't fared too well, so we're doing a new product. And, uh, of course, to start every install, we need beers. Cheers, guys. Now, this week, super fit seat cover thing. Thanks, boys. They've been good to us. Tropical Pale Ale from Beaconfield, or was it Green Beacon Brewing Co? It's not a bad drop now, it's not like some of the others, but it's not bad. Alistair, why is your beer not open, mate? Al, open your beer. Anyways, Al's gonna drink too. Cameraman must drink. It's a habit of these sessions. Now we're gonna have a fun one today, hopefully. Let's see how we go. So now over here, we have our bash plates. Look at this beautiful bit of gear. Not, not bad. Bit of sand on it because if there's one thing the new Ranger does well, it holds sand. I'll tell you what, we've watched this thing about, it has to be four times, and flushes since we got back from Fraser, and there's still sand coming out of it everywhere. Right, oh, so, very, very easy install today. Very, very easy. Need another sip. We, um, first of all, the other thing you must do is get some weird pair of sunnies you find, so you look a bit like Elton John or something. Nice little bright Larry shirt, party shirts. Yeah, get to move with the boys, you know, and of course, Crocs, need to have Crocs, right? Eh? Now I've got that out of the way, safety boots. Oh, we interrupt this install video with a box patrol that just rocked up. Y62 now, you've seen him in other videos, Mick. He's uh, keen on, here we go, run. Is that it? Oh, is that it? Pork has got it. <laughs> Pork roll, gonna win. Anyways, you've seen Mick in another install video. For some reason, he wants to buy a Y62. He's getting sacked. <laughs> Righto, so, as you know, now, by now, you're about to find out. <laughs> We've got two different models of bash plates, right? The protection plates, we're gonna call them. So, you have a three mil mild steel, which we're calling the Everyday Tourer. So basically, if you're just sort of hooking your van on, you go and cruise around the streets most of the time, but occasionally you're gonna hit the beach, you know, maybe run across the Simpson Desert or Something like that, right? We're not really doing too much strains. Just want to worry about a few sticks and stuff like that. Perfect, perfect bash plate for you. Now, if you're a little bit like me, and you know how to absolutely beep everything, like this exhibit over here, then you need the heavy duty Mad Max design for when you need protection from yourself. You can um, bang that one on. So that one's four mil stainless. Again, both of these are painted in our olive green color, which is going to be really, really cool. Um, well, we like the look of them. See him, everyone seen him give us good feedback, but doesn't mean people weren't lying. If you got suggestions to colors, make sure you leave it in the comments below. And all them ones. So we will get into this install. First thing we need is we actually need, so as you can see under here, I'll bring you under so you can have a look. This is what your factory bash plate kind of looks like, but it probably doesn't look this bad. But generally there's, uh, as you can see, we've had to put zip cards on for the, <laughs> it's falling apart already. We've had to put zip ties on for the install, just to put this back on to show you how they, what it is. So normally there's gonna be a bolt here and a bolt there. So normally there's a thing that comes down here and whatever, but that one on ours is, um, well it was all mangled up from this episode. So I had to cut them off to fit the bash plate on properly while we wait our ARB recovery points. Um, the same on this side, so we just zip it in back up. Now, then your back ones here, so you can have two bolts, one here, one here, which hold this on first. So what you need to do, Beautiful design is that these this plate here has got a slot either there. So you undo these bolts. Well, what you do is sorry, you undo these ones, but don't take them out. You just loosen them off and drop them down a bit. Then you undo these front ones, and then you can just drop the front down and slide that one out. So that one's off. And then this back one, you then come back here. Same deal. This back one's got slots on the front of it here. So we just drop this bolt here and this bolt here. And then you sort of drop that down to slide that out, then you can pull those bolts out of your way. Now obviously I couldn't bolt these back up to show you that because all our bolts were bent, <laughs> broken. The thing's bent and stuff, and of course I cut off the mounts at the front, so. Here we go, so very, very easy for us. We're just gonna go, Boink. And... Yeah. Let's pull these out. And these obviously, these zinc bolts are not what your factory bolts look like. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take these over to the scrap bin, because we don't need them anymore. We're gonna hook these in the scrap bin. Whoop. Whoop. God, hey. Success. 
where they all belong because they're tin and they're crap. Right, this is basically what you're gonna get here. Your three bash plates, your nuts, bolts, blah, blah, blah. So, you're also gonna need, if you're like me, lazy. Bit of Milwaukee power. Now, we're not sponsored by Milwaukee, but if we were sponsored, we might, have a, might be a bit newer looking or something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you also get a 60, you need a 16 mil socket. An extension does help, small extension, an 18 mil socket, and a five mil Allen key, and of course I've got it into the socket set up, so I can run some few things in. Pretty much the only tools you're gonna need today, very, very easy. I mean, you are gonna need a second person to help you, but I'm gonna try and do it myself today. So, um, see what happens. Well, our first bash plate, front one. The first one we're on, we need to go. So on the first one, you got these M12 mil bolts, right? These M12s, now these are gonna go up in here. You're also gonna be supplied another bolt. Now, from memory, the bolts that go in here in these ones, which you would have, but I cut them off, are gonna be the same M10s as them, whatever they worked out to be. We can't do it the way you're probably gonna to have to do it because everything's bent and stuffed under there and waiting for parts. So you need to put the front plate on first, start with one of these front holes, put them in and then you can just dangle it on the bolt and put the next one in. But I'm gonna start with the back ones and do what I ask about because I need to straighten some stuff up the front and line it up. And of course, if you have a hoist, this may or may not make this easier. But sometimes bash plates lying on your back can be just that little bit easier. Well, no, no, success. We've had great success. That's why I got some. Very nice. You want here? Right. Righto, so. What you want to do is, as with everything that we do, you don't do it up tight straight off the bat. You get everything in nice and loose, but you don't want to have the bolts this far down. So we just bring it up so it's nearly touching, so we get a bit of play in it. So we get everything else in before we actually do it up. So don't go that hard. Too hard, son, too hard. So that was the 18mm socket on the front ones. Then we bring these ones up a little bit. Got here. Beautiful. Righto, so what I didn't show you is you also get two of these. So these are slot nuts. Now, there's two other bolts in which are the same, the Allen key. So to put these in, you come over here. So if you don't understand exactly where it's going, just hold your, hold your back bash plate up to see. But it goes here, so you've got your braces here, you've got your wild ones starting, you've got a slot here and a slot there. They're pretty sort of, I guess, symmetrical to each other. They're right there. This one's right beside that one. They're running um, horizontally to the length of the car, right? So I fed them down from the top here the other night. Put my finger up there to sort of catch it. And I run two fingers and line the thread up with the hole. So this is where you're going to need someone to help you. It gets a bit tricky doing these ones here. Um, so we put this bash plate on. It could get a bit tricky, so I'm going to try and do it. <clears throat> hold it up and get one. I'm going to try and sort of hold it up with my head and then get the one started here so I can just let it dangle and then I can push it up and try. We'll see how we go. We'll see what happens. Oh, I, need to, I need to spend a bit more money on these Larry clothes, eh? Hey? They're not stretch material, you know? Not worth approved. They end up... I'm splitting my pants on camera. Everyone will see me hairy ass. Go on. <laughs> Next minute. Ah, it's a bit awkward, but anyways. He's going. Is that one? Who needs help? You're the perfect size. For perfect this. size. Now look, if you're shorter than me, see, I've got an adjustable hoist. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so worked out that I'm the perfect height.
and hopefully that stays there and we don't have fucking next minute falls down. So what we do here is same as before. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it up there a little bit. Oh no, this is hard. There we go. Oh, he's gone. I've gone and just butchered this. <laughs> right, eh? I've gone. I've gone and butchered this whole install up. So I've bloody lied to you. Like I'm not even joking. So this one over here, this slot nut, goes with the slot that's going horizontal to the car. <laughs> and uh, the other one, well, that's actually going with the one that's running parallel with the car. So as you can see here, if you can see it on camera, hopefully, I put the slot nut here, but it actually goes here. And I can actually now see where the plate was the other day. All right, so we'll just move that one over. All right, we'll get to go now. So basically, you put a finger in over the top in the hole to hold this slot nut and move it around so you can line it up with the, with the nut. And then you just put the bolt and the slot nut. Hold him up, get him started. Make sure you get a few threads in before you let it go. I'll just wait till I feel the thread touching my finger so it's the thickness of the block in. The side's much the same, finger in. See, I can, if you can see in there, you can see I can, I just put my finger so it's on the hole where the thread comes out and you can move it around. And I can sort of see in there so I can just try and line it up best I can. And obviously everything being loose, I can just move the plate forward, backwards, wherever I need to line the hole up. Everything works. Cool. So that one's in. So now everything's nice and loose. We've just got the metal plate to put in. We're gonna hydrate. Oh, it's a thing. We're gonna stop for a commercial break. What are we gonna put in for commercials today? Barras, barras everywhere. Like if you look, if you wanna see a barra in its natural element, just come on out to Ipswich and check it out. <laughs> Had breaks over, let's go. Grab this last and final plate. Knees bent back straight. Let's see techniques, you know. So as you can see here on this one, this is the fun one. So you can see we've got a series of nut certs up here in this plate here along this fold. We've got holes here, so these all line up with that. That's what these beauties are for. So I don't know which is the best way to do this one, but let's just wing it. Probably start at the front, get one in so you can hang it a bit and then put a bolt in the back. I think we'll be the best way. Well, it's my motto. <laughs> Just wing it. Don't worry about scratching the juke, eh? Oh, we got him. We'll grab one of these bolts. It went a little bit easier. Line him up here and you see it overlaps the other one. The middle one on the back section, sorry. Just the middle. Right, eh? Bash plates are in. All we gotta do is, ah, look what I've gone and done. So we're gonna rewind a little bit. I've gone and, uh, when you put the back plate on, don't put these outside holes in first, because as you can see, well, the bolt's in the way. Go the next one in, just go the second one in from each end, and there's always, there's always something going on here, eh? Wouldn't be a pirate. Wouldn't be a pirate at the side if it wasn't. You know what's beautiful about it? Is you guys get to see it all. <laughs> Man, man, another mistake, a rookie error. I should be like the pirate apprentice, eh? But who would like teach me if I was the apprentice? This plate here, you need to tighten the back of it first. And then we can put this one on because I forgot that there's two bolts at the back of that that we've hidden. So we're gonna have to uh, retract what I did before and probably change this a little bit, but we'll make this happen. Hey Al, can you get me the Allen key, please? What do you want? <laughs> can I please have that, Al? <laughs> You're a piece of sh <laughs> oh, what a catch! Yes! Alright, so these need to be a few ducker duckers tight. Now, let's go. Oh, yeah! Alright, no, this is good because then, then we get to learn about this together. But you, you don't have to make the same mistakes I made. Unless, of course, now look, actually, got to be honest here, you are going to make the same mistakes I've made if, if you drink as many beers as we do when you're doing it, because 
Now, let that be a lesson. More beer is better. We should sell <laughs> beer. Oh, we can sell beer, eh? We could. So, very, very easy. That one's up. We're good to go now. Obviously, we've tightened these two. Make sure these two are tight. Make sure you don't have bolts in the end here. And we're good to go. Put this bad boy back on the head. Line him up. Makes me a bit hungry, eh? You getting hungry? You know why I'm hungry? Because I was silly enough to go to McDonald's for lunch today, right? And guess what happened? They stuffed me order up. Normally they forget my sauce and I get nuggets. So I got nuggets and a Big Mac because I was pretty hungry. <laughs> Anyways, so I opened the bag and I'm like, yes. They put my sauce in for a change. Anyways, get back to the workshop and guess what? No bloody burger. They forgot me burger. Right, so we get the rest of these bolts in. As you can see, so now everything's going in. All that bolts are in. So before you start tightening, right, you see how to push it up there because the bolt was going in on the piss. You just give that a push up so it's not all the way flat and everything lines up nice. Right, that's so first thing you do before you tighten everything up, make sure your bolts are in. Obviously these ones are missing because ARB is sending us some recovery points. We paid for by the way, we're not sponsored. Um, <laughs> so add that. So you have two bolts there, two bolts up under here. You've got, oh, see, look at that. As soon as I started talking, bang. Checklists. Checklist, need two more bolts. You need to have all these in before you start, otherwise you'll end up, your holes could go out because you know, everything starts pulling the wrong way and bloody so on, so on. Right, hey, so, gosh, look at this. How good is this? This is my favorite part, like, it, actually, it's all my favorite. So, bolts there, bolts there. Four across here, beautiful, these are tight. Um, got all that bolts in across here. And of course, at the back, we've got all that bolts in. Now we can start tightening, all right? So what I do is don't just go and ram one straight in. We'll start at the back and we'll bring this up so it's nearly touching again. Yep, that one's just touching. Put your finger in there and just stop it from moving around. That one's just touching. Now while I've got this, I'll come back here and we'll just pull these ones up. So now this one here, start in one corner. See how the plate all started moving then? Now come to the other corner. Now go to the middle. Just bring them up. Bring them up nicely. And we'll change socket. Same thing again here, just bring everything up. Bring them up so just touch in. So everything's pretty well done up now, so we're going to start by doing the front one, which is the 18mm socket. And these five big ones here. Rattle them up tight. It'll take a beating. Beautiful. Let's run the 16. We'll come down the back here and just... Oh, my ears. Oh, she's going to be deaf on my old ray. Hey? We, oh, what? Right, hey. So, now of course we. Now, don't go too hard on these. Don't think these are. There's enough in them to. You know, they're not crazy bolts. Perfect. And the back ones, of course. Bloody marvellous. Yeah. Look at that. We're all done. Well, legends, we're all done here. Install's done. Now, first of all, I want to give a wrap to Superfit Seat Covers. Get on board and give them guys support. They've got absolutely everything Australian made, right down to the canvas and cotton. Now, they did us a solid. They brought us up to the show there last weekend at the Brisbane 4x4 show. Gave us a spot and helped us get out and see all you guys. Secondly, I want to support every single one of you guys who came down and said g'day. Everyone who sent us messages and comments and commented on all that stuff. Really, really appreciate that. It means the world to us. So, and everybody on social media, YouTube, everywhere that follows us. Man, all your comments and your input and everything is absolutely amazing. We love it. And also, of course, everybody who supports us. Every dollar you spend, every like, it doesn't matter. We absolutely love it. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Now, remember...
These are bloody awesome. <laughs> but look, if you want to get them, down the bottom in the comments is a link. If you like the bash plates, if you don't like them, let us know. Let us know. Send us a message, whatever, comment. Let us know. If you don't like the colour, tell us what you'd like to see. But we've done a few polls and it was pretty hard breast to find people who didn't really like this colour on there. So, hey, let's see how it goes, guys. Now, one more before you go. Saturday, 6 p.m., weekly drops are back. We're going to be weekly dropping for as long as we can. And so far, I think we've got about 16 new products in the works. So that's 16 weeks. That's like four months of new products every Saturday. Make sure you tune in. Saturday, 6 p.m., jump on the mailing list because we're doing a mailing list now. So everybody who's on there is going to get notified. Bang on what the new products are. Thanks for support, legends. Yee!